In this video, I'm gonna talk about Skip the Dishes driver app and a tutorial on how to use it. It's a very quick and easy process, so make sure to follow along. If you open the Skip the Dishes usual app, you will find the option to drive a skip. As you can see, if you go into your profile and scroll down, you will see the option to become a courier. You can also look for the individual courier Skip the Dishes app on the Play Store or the App Store. When you download the app for the first time, it will guide you through the process of setting up an account to be qualified to drive and earn money making deliveries. When you are inside of the Skip the Dishes driver app, you will be able to set your location, aka the zones that you are going to be working in, and after your profile is all verified, all set up and good to go, you can start making deliveries. The way it works is that after you select any open shift or you work independently according to your availability, you will be able to get notifications when an order is placed, so go into the available availability tab, as you can see, it is the second button on the bottom of your screen, set up your shifts according to the days of the week, and like I said previously, whenever a notification pops up, you will be able to accept or decline it. On screen, you will be able to see the restaurant where you need to collect the order, you can see the destination, so where you need to drop it off, and you can see the total earnings. You can do a quick calculation related to the total earnings and the kilometers that you need to run. And if you believe this offer is worth, all that you have to do is swipe at the bottom to accept the offer. Alternatively, tap decline at the top left corner of the screen. And of course, this will decline the specific offer. You can just wait around until a new notification pops up and you will be good to go whenever you accept any of the offers. Immediately when you accept any of these notification or offers, the first thing that you have to do is drive to the restaurant. You can use the orange arrow icon that you can find at the right side of the name and information of the restaurant to get directions directly to the restaurant. So you can use apps like Google Maps that are going to help and guide you to the restaurant itself. You have a specific time where you have to collect the order, so keep that in mind, make sure that you are aware of the time, and read any possible restaurant notes. This might be different from restaurant to restaurant. Once you arrive at the specific restaurant where you need to collect the order, swipe down at the bottom, park at the restaurant. This will notify their team to go give you the order that you need to deliver. Only do this when you are parked and good to go. As soon as you swipe the option at the bottom, you can drive to the customer. You will get, once again, information on where they are located and once again you can use apps like Google Maps to guide you through the instructions and directions. As long as you keep your availability open and you always look out for notifications, it is very simple to use the Skip the Dishes driver app. There isn't a lot of special setup that you have to do after your account is verified, but since that process is highly personal, I recommend that you take your own time to carefully apply, present all the documentations, and as long as you follow through the instructions on the notifications on screen with proper attention, you will be good to go. I hope I was able to help you on understanding the Skip the Dishes driver app, and I hope this tutorial served you well. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more quick and easy tips. Thank you for watching.